Alright, um, here we are playing more Mega Man Maker. Today we'll be playing through a spring thing created by Squigs with 49 plays and a score of positive 21. Alright, that's very promising. We get the mouse <laughs> cursor out of there. So, this will probably be another gimmicky stage by Squigs. Um, yeah, <laughs> definitely will be one. I can already tell you now. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I just went down there. <laughs> hmm. That's pretty interesting. I had never, um, or, you know, I haven't played a stage um, that's completely revolving, you know, around using these things. And that probably was cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just cheesed something there, um, but let's not do that. Let's Yeah, let's see how it should have played out Yeah, like that. <laughs> Very neat. Then we would have gone up here. Okay uh -huh. Yeah, the spring weapon is actually pretty powerful, you know when you have unlimited ammo of it and you can just spam it at that point it becomes very good. Very strong. Oh, wow. That was close. Now we have our checkpoint. Mm -hmm. Let's see, can we... <laughs> Wait, right? Okay, now we can't cheese that one. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to try. Alright. I guess you could technically, you know, fall down here. Can you jump up from here? Let me just try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's not preferable to... <laughs> preferably, uh, that's not the pref preferable way to do that, I guess. Oh, yes, my, my English. And holy moly. Just go for it. Run! <laughs> wow, dude, this place has a... <laughs> Cockroach <laughs> problem here. <laughs> ah, what the hell? <laughs> you know, <laughs> this guy is green and all. I wonder if that's like. You know, with but, but with all the. Oh, what's the right word? Ooh, here it's called in Swedish, but I have no idea what the English word is, you know, um, vermin, yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> since the screen is, or since the background is all green, you know, maybe that's an indication <laughs> as to why we have all the vermin here, <laughs> you know, maybe the place is all polluted, and I missed that secret up there, I'm fully aware of that, and wow, <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> Uh, let's just start with this guy. Okay, that's what you do. Wait for him to shoot, then you jump. Oh, wait. Nope. Gotta uh, do that. Yeah, nice. Very nice. So, yeah, nothing. Oh. Oh, <laughs> nothing too hard so far. Pretty, pretty forgiving stage, which I definitely do not mind. <laughs> It'll just be a nice breeze here, it seems. And yeah, look at this. This weapon is really effective at taking these guys out too. The, <laughs> the seamen enemy, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they are called. <laughs> <laughs> I just refer to them as semen, yeah. Very mature. Very mature, I know. But I don't really care. <laughs> We're just gonna have to, you're just gonna have to deal with it. And this is getting a little bit dangerous, I have to admit. Um, I have to be kind of careful with how I do this. Oh, wow. Oh, no! Oh! 
And we're back here. Well, I guess it's not that far. <laughs> and I guess you technically don't need to kill that guy. We can just bypass him. Can you? Yeah, luckily the semen enemy. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not <laughs> saying that the train be funny. Like I, I, I don't know what the color. The luckily the blue guy stereo. We <laughs> just call them the blue guys. <laughs> uh, only deal one damage. So yeah, they are. Yeah, they are not that threatening, and you know they have so much potential to give you health drops that you could basically yeah <laughs> just do this face tank them. Yeah, they are probably the weakest enemy in all of Mega Man. Probably. The only way they could be a threat would be if they, like, you know, hit you down in a pit or something, you know, or other like that. Oh, no, that's so risky. <laughs> that is so risky. You know what, here, maybe we need to charge it. There we go, okay, very nice. We have plenty of space so that we don't bonk our head on the spikes there. Uh. It's actually kind of convenient <laughs> fighting with the spring weapon because you don't really have to aim that much. Once you find your spot you can just mash the shoot button and yeah, it will just work itself out. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. <clears throat> and I wonder if that's the whole stage. Maybe it is. Yeah, we have the... Yeah, we have the Bowser. We have Sparkman here. Um, I'm just trying to think. Yeah, we just need to find the right spot to stand in here. Okay, so close to the door. Oh, and I see, you kind of need to time it. You kind of have to time it here. So, like, right now. And, oh, yeah, I had to use the ladders there. That's why they are there. They are here, so that you can avoid the... Um, the big spark shot, you know, very... Or, not very easy, but a lot easier. And, yeah, the turret guy can't hit you while you're on the ladders either, so that's also pretty nice. You just gotta pay attention mainly to spark mana, I guess, here. And what it is up to. Like, right here, yeah. And it's also a nice um, thing, you know, to have the... Um, boss taking two damage is basically what I'm trying to say from the weapon here. So that it doesn't crack on for too long. But yeah, very nice and, you know, shield playthrough here. Oh! Of a spring thing, very nice level. Um, you know, uh, basically, it, it it definitely was a gimmick stage. Um, I thought it would revolve even more around you know destroying those barriers at first, but it was more about you know uh, the fighting enemies in the correct way with the springs. And yeah, sure, we had a few. Uh, 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 barriers here and there that we needed to destroy and yeah you know it was just yeah <laughs> it was just a nice stage to go through you know uh, difficulty was pretty well made uh, I think that it started out pretty easy and you know got slightly harder towards the end there it never went it never spiked really you know it was just a slight difficulty curve going up so you know um, yeah uh, the hardest part probably was that one you know you know <laughs> the blue enemies there in the end um, You know, even though they did not deal a whole lot of damage, you know, they still, you know, pretty much forced me down into the pit there that one time So yeah <laughs> Oh, yeah, and the boss room was pretty nice, too um, It's a good idea putting the um, ladders uh, on the top there just so that you could um, basically guarantee to have a way to avoid the boss just in case like the turret fires um, like in an opportune time so that like it forces you to jump and then you would perhaps land on the fully charged uh, sp you know sparkman shot there so yeah very nice stage all around squeaks i can definitely see why it has gotten quite a few upvotes and plays here so yeah uh, very nice done <laughs> very nice uh, done 
a very nice yum done indeed there you go finally was that so hard <laughs> okay well yeah i'll just leave it at that thank you guys for watching and have a nice day